Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Mezzy Table Studio, and today is December the 25th, which is Christmas Day, and before the day gets a little bit out of control and crazy, I thought it would carve while the husband and the dogs are asleep. So, I have the idea that I would like to carve a gift box, a present, present. I'm going to sketch it out on a piece of paper, rub it on here like I do every time with the um, bone folder of the moment, and then I will start carving. I will also make a um, jelly print, put my stuff in my book, so on and so forth. If you guys have been watching, you know the routine. Anyway, so I will be back at the end of the video to talk about the jelly prints. Everything else will be fast forwarded.
everybody. Here is day 26. Hey, I got it right. <laughs> All right, so this is my inspiration. This is a book, let's turn it the right way, that I made from watching, I can't remember if it was a YouTube or a TikTok video, but I want to do it this way. I want to do the side view of the book. So I'm going to try to do this, or you can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure how uh, let me measure this thing. It is six and a half centimeters or two and a half inches. Two and a half inches is too large. Although, I don't know. Yeah. Let's do the, the, uh, let's do the centimeter side for my friends who live across the pond. And everybody else who uses this, except for Americans. <laughs> we just do not seem to have a grasp on centimeters. And it's so funny because centimeters is 10 to 1. How many dimes are there in a dollar? 10. <laughs> I don't understand why we don't use this. It is so much easier than inches. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, so this is, I'm going to make it six centimeters. Let's see, do I have enough here? Yep, 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 no. So it's going to have to be this side of the rubber, I guess, six centimeters. But it'll be skinny. Oh, well, I can do it this way because it'll be rather flat. So we can do six centimeters on here. Let's do seven to give me a little wiggle room. All right, there's that. Okay, so six centimeters. Alrighty, let's do this. Um, I will fast forward through this. Okay, so I want to use this in my books and I want to be able to write from the library of or my name above the stamp. So that's why it is shaped the way it is. I do have another book stamp that I carved last year, but I think I will use this one to put like a VB on it or something to note that it's my book. Now I can only stamp so, whoops, look at this. I can only stamp so many, come on. I can only stamp so many of these on my five by seven. 
which, like I said, is for demo purposes. But when I get some uh, larger, I'll stamp a whole bunch and then I will glue them into my books or something, tape them, whatever. So this is an experiment to see if this is really going to work. I need... Actually, I think I'm just not going to put another color on it. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And, whoops, everything moves. I want to see if this works. I think it might be better as a black and white stamp. You know, just use black ink on it. We'll see. I like a little color, but, you know, I'm okay with the black and uh, black ink. Oh, that did not go well. <laughs> okay, we need to do something else with this. Now we're going to put down that color I didn't want to do. <laughs> oh, poo. <laughs> All righty then. Let, I'm not cutting this out. I'm not going to hide the fact that it didn't work. I'm not going to refilm and show you the perfect thing. Nope, nope, nope. Because we all know, and Julie Finfay said in one of her videos, I have millions of stamps that didn't turn out. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I didn't know they didn't all turn out perfect. I'm shocked. I was feeling really crappy about my success rate, but now I'm feeling much better. <laughs> all right, let's do a cleanup. I might get one or two out of this to cut up. I'm thinking this is going to be strictly a um, ink pad thing after I clean it up from the acry acrylic paint. It might just be, yeah, I think so. <laughs> that did not go the way I'd anticipated, but you can see it. <laughs> well, sort of. Hi. Okay, so that didn't go well. <laughs> so I think this one will get cleaned up and it will be strictly used as an ink inking stamp because I don't think this is going to work the way I thought it would. Oh, phooey. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of looks cool, but this is the part that looks cool. <laughs> Dadgummit. All right. Well, that's... You know, okay. Who are we kidding? It looks terrible. All right, so we're just going to ink it. And we're going to try inking it. I'm going to go wash it off. Okie doke. Some of the paint still lingers, but for the, oops, sorry, for the most part, the blue is gone. So I think the coast is clear. Just to make this a regular stamp, I could do it in colors. I could use embossing on it, embossing powder on it. Who cares? Let's see. Oh, here we go. I have usually strips of paper left over from when I make mini books. So I can use my strips of white or whatever color I have. Is this thing inked up enough? And um, I need a pad. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can use this with my leftover strips for my books or anything I want my name to go on. I might put this on my Etsy books, on the ones that are large enough for this. The minis, I can't. But I could do it with this. And if I really want to emboss it, I can cut this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could cut the whole book out so I can emboss. I don't know. I can't decide. Anyway, so this is day 26. Let me see. The thing is, is I cannot write my name on here. This book. Belongs to... Vicky. Yeah, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to come up with some other way to showcase this for, to you know, some kind of a stamp. I'm wondering if 
I can cut this closer. And it's not that I don't want the color on it, it's just that maybe there's a little too much on it. There we go. I'm wondering if I can do this. Well, you can't see it, sorry. If I can take a, some kind of a piece of painted paper, put this and cut the painted paper and then write on there, this book belongs to, and then I can glue that on there. That's a little complicated, but hey, there's an idea. I don't know if I really want to cut this rubber any smaller. Yes, I do. <laughs> Who are we kidding? <laughs> I cannot help myself. So, <laughs> We're gonna cut the rubber. We're gonna go like this. And I'm not trying to save this rubber for another project. Holy cow, what a mess. All right, so I guess we're gonna trim this off. Oh, look at that, it looks pretty. Yeah, that looks good. No, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> I hear y'all hollering, Biggie, stop. Enough already! Okay, let me stamp it to see the damage I've done. <laughs> you know, you're going to come back and I will have carved a whole new stamp going, Oh, look! This one turned out perfect! <laughs> Not. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm going to have a stroke. Alright, let's go on the back side of this. I think I need to read Oh, fatui. All right, so I need to trim some of this off here. Right, you're shocked, huh? <laughs> she just can't stop herself. What is she doing? <laughs> She's going to need to order new rubber. Oh, well, that's a given. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can make this worse. <laughs> I have no doubt it's achievable. Absolutely achievable. <laughs> Holy mackerel. This was not the way it was supposed to turn out. Well, sort of, but no. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Get the black off the edge there. And we'll just extend the black on this end so it looks like it was supposed to be there. Uh, that's good enough. It, it looks a little rickety, but <laughs> if I don't stop now, it'll be one page on each side. <laughs> wow. The nice thing about doing art is, for the most part, if you don't like something, you can alter it, you can gesso over it, or you can jelly print over it. <laughs> this is so not what I was expecting. Okay, so um, oh, I need to stop because this is only going to get worse. Yeah, I need to stop. This, this is going to just get worse and I don't want to carve again until tomorrow. Well, <laughs> Yay, 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 yay. 
the best laid plans. You know, see, in my head, I saw something different happening than what actually happened. Yeah, I did. I did not see it going like this. <laughs> so did not see it going downhill. All right, well, done is better than perfection, and I've already missed the perfection mark about three minutes ago. <laughs> oh, if you can't laugh at this, you have no sense of humor. You're way too serious for this. Seriously. It's okay. It's only a rubber stamp. <laughs> All right, well, let's stamp her one more time just to say we did it. I am still going to use this on a piece of paper, though. I don't, I, I'm not getting rid of the stamp, and I'm not throwing it away. I am going to keep it. Ah, it's not so bad. Huh, okay. All that teeth gnashing was for nothing. Okay, I do need to fix one thing right here. This needs to extend out because the page does not end where the black just need to, nope, don't do any more. You're done. Okay. You know that little voice in there you said, go, stop, stop. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos you long enough, you know I never listen to what that little voice says. <laughs> All right, let me print this on some jelly paper and see how it looks. I'm gonna use this one since it didn't go so well. I'm gonna use this as my example. Binky, 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 binky. My stamp sounds so squeaky. All right, so we have this. Ta da! Um, and then I'm gonna take some paper cutter scissor thingies. I'm gonna cut this across the bottom. And then we're gonna cr cut it up this way and across here. I've lost my mind. You know, it's Christmas hangover. From all the, oh no. Uh, do I really want that blue on? No, I don't. Let's get rid of that blue. Okay. Well, almost. All right, so then what I will do is I will Right. There you go. Now that was kind of close to my intention. How's that? Except for I should put my name, I should put this a little further over here but for the most part, that's it. So that I know that book belongs to me. And so will everybody else when they get it at the thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that person? <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, my Lord. Day 26 is over. 